Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to get the most amount of FPS in Krunker Season 3. So, hope you enjoy. By the way guys, remember to use code EPIC when buying KR, it really helps me out. Feel free to like and subscribe and check out my socials. All the links will be down in the description. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the description and download Brave, which is a performance-based browser and it gives the highest amount of FPS possible in Krunker. Once you get to the website, you're going to click Download Brave for Windows. Next, you're just going to want to open that up, click on Run, and then click Yes, and it's going to just quickly install. It should only take about a minute or so, maybe less. Okay, and once it's fully installed, you're just going to find the shortcut, right-click on it, go to Open File Location, and then right click again and pin to taskbar. Then from there, right click the Brave icon, right click Brave Browser, Properties, and you're just gonna put at the end of this, dash dash disable dash frame dash limit. Again, I'll have that in the description. And this allows for unlimited FPS. As you can see, I'm running about 500 and about 600 now. But yeah, that's how to enable unlimited FPS. And let's get on with the other performance views. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to settings and tweak some of the options in here for better performance. Again, you can just copy paste them. I'll have the link to the paste bin in the description. Okay, so lag compensation on one, this allows for your shots to hit much easier. And the same with high tick rate, both of these together work really well. Auto routing, I just leave this off. Resolution on one, frame cap on zero, so you get the most amount of frames possible. Aspect ratio, I keep this on default. Low spec off, map details, this is for things like grass, particle distance all the way down, render distance all the way up, because if you put it on 1 you get this. So I would just recommend leaving it at 100. Shadows, all of these off, lighting on normal, or you can put it on low if you have a low end PC. UI scale 0.8, show UI on, old scoreboard, so this is for the top right. Both of these off, hits indicators on, damage scale 1. Kill feed, kill counter, and death counter on. Score counter and street counter I leave off. Spectator, this is to make, you know, it shows when somebody's spectating the game. Ping, I like to leave on just so I know what's my connection like. If you leave show FPS off, it actually gives a bit of extra performance. Movement speed off. Uh, medals, I leave off. So this is things like headshot, quick scope, you know, stuff like that. Name tag display, I have on everything. Um, if you turn this off, you will get a bit more FPS though. And again, these are all on default. I always show chat just so I can see what people are typing. Uh, these are all on default. Crosshair, I have my own custom crosshair. I'll leave a link in the description. Gameplay, 0.55 on all these. Slide control on 6. This is how you get the most amount of friction. I would recommend turning this all the way up. Again, these are on default. Controller, we're just going to skip this because who the fuck uses a controlling crunker? Master volume, I have quite low because I find the game to be pretty loud. Guns volume on 0.8 and play volume on 1. I do this so you can hear footsteps a lot more easier. Field of view, 103. This is because I play, oh fuck. Field of view, 103. This is because I play Overwatch and that's max FOV in Overwatch. Weapon FOV, 120. Bobbing, leaning and X offset all on one. Y offset, I leave this on two and ADS Y offset is a new setting. So if I scope in, you can see my gun is lower than the crosshair. But if I put this to default one, you can see it's on top of the crosshair. Aim animation, I leave on. Add a weapon on NDS, off. And I just turn all these on. But if you're looking for performance, turn all these off. Editing, all these are on default. Pop-up score X and Y is 5 and 2. So it's quite near the center at the top. Saturation is on 2 because I don't really like, I don't know. It's pretty dull, you know? So I like a nice and colorful game. All these on default. Bullet traces on black because, I mean, it look, that looks cool, right? Mods. I leave on and I have my own custom mod called Epic Gamer. You can use it if you want. It is under the popular section right here. Remember to upvote it by the way guys right here. Okay back to settings. Scope borders is off so you don't get the black area around the scope. And again I have my own custom scope and hit marker images. Match end message is just, <laughs> it's just a plug for my socials. So yeah that's about it for Krunker performance settings. And let's get into the other Windows tips and tricks you can do. What you want to go and do is type in chrome colon slash slash flags. The first thing you're going to search for is override software rendering list. And you want to make sure this is set to enabled. Then you're going to search for GPU rasterization and enable that option. And then finally search for zero copy rasterizer and make sure this is set to disabled. 
Okay, so now we're going to get into some applications which could improve performance of your system. It's called CCleaner and I'll leave a link to that in the description. And what you want to go and do is go over to the custom clean option and leave everything on by default and then go to applications and turn everything off for Brave unless you want to clear history, for example. Then you're just going to click on run cleaner and click continue. And CCleaner is going to clean up all the cache files in your system for you. Okay, next we have registry and make sure everything here is selected then click on scan for issues as you can see i've got two right here and the first one is from me deleting the brave setup install which means that the registry key is not needed anymore so ccleaner is just going to remove that for you so click on fix selected issues you can back up if you want i just choose not to then click fix all and you'll be done you can also uninstall programs from right here which is cool but we're mainly focused on startup options only disable things here if you know what they do for example, I have my Logitech G Hub enabled because it connects with my mouse and keyboard at startup. And then scheduled tasks. This is what is going to run when you first turn on your PC. I have everything off except for the AMD related services. Next is how to free up space. So you're just going to right click on local disk C or whatever your main hard drive is. Then click on disk cleanup and Windows is going to search for what it can clean up in terms of cache files and other data that your PC doesn't need anymore by clicking OK and then delete files. And there you go, you've managed to free up some space. Next thing is graphics related again, and you're just gonna search for graphics in Windows. As you can see, all my apps here are set to high performance mode. The way to do that is right clicking on a shortcut, opening the file location, select the file path at the top and copy it, and then click browse and paste the file path. Once again, control C, control V. Click on the shortcut, in this case it's Brave. Click on add and then options, and set it to high performance. Next, you're gonna click the Windows button and type in msconfig, press enter. Go over to the boot section and make sure timeout is set to five seconds. Then click on advanced options and number of processes, select your highest amount, so in my case it's 12. Then click on okay, and we can go to the services tab right here. Click hide all Microsoft services. Again, only change things here if you know what they do. And click apply and okay. And you can exit with restart or restart now, it doesn't really matter. Next thing to do is type in advanced system settings. And if you look under performance, you can change these settings right here and it'll give you slightly more FPS, not a big difference. These are the ones I've got checked at the moment. Then if we go into the advanced tab right here and virtual memory, you're gonna click change and make sure this is set to system managed. If it's not, go to no paging file, click set, yes and then click on system manage file and click set. Click apply and okay, and you'll be good to go. One final thing you can do here is go into the tools option and optimize your drive. This is gonna increase the performance and load times of your PC overall. So just click on optimize. And as you can see, the scan is now running and it'll optimize my drives. This is gonna take a while, so let's move on with the next step. Finally, it's just a really quick one and it's temporary. So each time you would launch Brave Browser, you're gonna to have to redo this. So just press Control, Shift and Escape, which will bring up the Task Manager. Go over to the Details tab, right click where it says Brave.exe, set Priority and put this to High. Then change Priority, which means that more system resources will be focused on that application. So yeah, I hope this video helped. Um, hope you get a bit more FPS and I'll see you next time. Peace.